the master's hammer and chisel, chisel endurance. I think this is only the second time we've done this routine, because maybe it's the third time, but it was brutal. And the reason it was brutal is we picked up heavy weights today. And there were a couple times I didn't finish. Uh, the rows, I grabbed 30s, and to do 30s, when you first do like the first 5, 10, it feels easy. But by the time you get to number 25, the weight just wants to fall out of your hand. And not only that, but when you're normally doing lawnmowers like that, um, you have both feet on the ground, uh, or one on the bench, or knee on the bench. So when the leg's up and you're balancing, you're using other muscles as well, so just tiring you all that much more. I get to 25, usually there's only like 5 seconds left when I got to 25, but still that was a burner. The decline push-ups for me today, those were tougher because I was using this other bench that we have and my feet were, they felt like they were mop feet. They felt like they were so high and so it was really, I could really feel it in the high chest which is what you want. But um, definitely burned out on those at number 25 again, I just finally said that's enough. Um, the pull-ups are always tough, was able to make it through the pull-ups, but I was using, I'm probably off camera when I'm doing that because we had the camera going a different direction today, in case he'll talk about that in a moment. But I use the pull-up assist band uh, for one minute. I can't do those um, for one minute without getting some kind of an assistance. That would just be too much, especially because I'm doing like 20 of them, so, or 15 to 20. So that's, that's a tough move. And then Casey grabbed 25 to do these up and down things. Yeah, 20. 20? Oh, and I grabbed the 25 because I thought I should be more macho, right? Well, I'm going to be paying for that tomorrow because uh, I couldn't get back up to the top of the bench a few times towards the end. I was stumbling, I was falling, I couldn't even get, I get halfway up and I just go right back down towards the end of each one of those sets. So. I really burned my legs out second time through. I grabbed 15s and my legs were already toast. I was offering so, him the other 20 and he didn't want so it. So maybe 20s, but but that higher bench that makes a difference uh, when you're going that much higher. But man, uh, good workout for me today. The last move that you do, the little ab thing where you do knee, knee taps, I remember doing this the first time and that being a difficult move. Today, easy as pie. So, that's obviously our core, is, uh, our core is getting a lot stronger and I could definitely feel that. So that was a, that was a definite plus because I thought when we got done with one minute I thought, oh, that was pretty easy. Actually my shoulders, because we do yeah. chest presses right before that, my shoulders hurt worse than my abs did. And I remember before it was the core that got real tired. So. See, and I'm actually thinking back, this is our second time to do it because I remember our last review on it, that was my biggest complaint was it was my shoulders more than my core that I was having an issue with on that move. And I'm going to fill up this time through, it's probably one of the easiest moves of the entire workout. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I had the same struggles that Philip had when it came to the decline push-ups. Again, if you watch our first time doing this a month ago, um, that was my complaint then too and it's still my complaint now. I really struggle with doing those. Um, again, my my suggestion that I made in the previous video, in case you haven't watched it, was if you're trying to do modifications for it, instead of putting your foot down like Autumn tells you to do, um, just put more of your legs onto the bench and it'll help you. Oh, it causes yeah. more of a leverage system for you. So that's actually a better way to do it. But I got I tried to set my num a, a number goal instead of going by doing it for a minute long. Because on the average, like Phil was saying, I was doing anywhere from 20 to 25 of just about every single move that we right. did today. So that was my goal on the decline push-ups. I really wanted to get to 25. Man, I'd get to like 20, 21, and I'd have to almost go into just a, a downward dog on the bench position and, and shake it out for a second and then do the last few. And that's okay. At least I finished. You know, and Autumn even says in it, you know, don't stop when there's three seconds left. Still do those last three seconds. So I try to make that my goal. Try to do everything all the way to the end because I do have a nasty habit of, I'll see there's like two or three seconds left. I'm like, do it one last time and I'm good. So just honesty right there. Um, the only thing I did different today, other than I did go up and wait. So I'm happy about that. I feel good. I didn't have any issues with the, um, the incline press. And the only issue that I had is today, 
not really doing the program wise, but elbow wise, I really struggled with the, um, the up down, not because of the weight, but because of holding it. And when you're holding it like this for an entire minute, again, it puts a lot of um, issues. So I actually thought after doing it the first time through, I thought I would grab my bar and maybe just try to do it with the bar. So if we do it again, um, I might do that because I actually, I don't think it was I have to show the weight here. Oh, I couldn't get my foot up without hitting the weight. Oh, I probably bring it up a little bit as I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. and see, and, oh, that's an extra way to get some bicep movement out of it too, I guess, isolated biceps. But, um, yeah, because I have the same issue. I was holding it here for a few minutes. And, it hurts. Yeah. It absolutely hurts. I even tried just dropping it and holding it in the the hand that wasn't was going balance. up. Yeah, and then it was like my whole balance was I off. I tried that too. I was like, oh, forget about it. Just suck it up and finish it. So I will, I don't know, maybe the bar is the best way to go on that. This is hard for us old injured people. <laughs> it really is. It can, if you have issues in elbows or knees, this probably isn't the easiest one for you to be doing. It's not It's not high impact by any means, mm -hmm. but it is holding a lot of weights for a significant amount of time and that does put a lot of strain on your joints. So, oh, and the other thing that I did different was I used, like he had said, he was off camera when he was doing his, pull what ups. is it, decentric or centric pull-ups or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I did pull downs. I have been doing um, with the band this entire time, but we finally decided since we have this machine, might as well utilize it. And I was like so excited thinking, oh, we're going to do squats today, and we never got to do squats. So I had my little squat machine ready to go for it, and I didn't even get to use it again. And I was going to do, I was going to use this for <laughs> incline uh, uh, chest presses, and then we found out we didn't know how to use it because we haven't used it yet. <laughs> And so afterwards, we figured it out. So next time, I'll use that because then I can heavy up the weight a little bit more. Because I was using 35s, I just went slow and controlled with the 35s. And instead of going to 20, 25, like uh, in a lot of the other ones I did, I only got to 18 both times, but I went a lot slower, a lot more controlled. And for me, that I got a really good burn doing it, slow and controlled. Um, but what he was saying is we've, after the program was over, we did figure out how to do it. We went and looked at our picture on the thing and was like, how are they doing it? And we finally figured it out. You have to lower the machine all the way down and then put these toys and put them up. And then you can do it. And what's cool about, not that everybody has one of these machines, so I don't know why I'm talking about it, but whatever, I'm on a roll. <laughs> but what's cool about doing this is it's not like doing a incline chest press with the bar. Um, when you do that, you don't have, you don't use your small twitch muscles quite as much, which is why it's good to mix straight bar with dumbbells. Um, that way you have that small twitch muscles and stuff. This one, the way it is, these still move. So even though it's going up and down at the same thing because it's connected, you still have to control it. And so Philip, I was watching him do it and his arms, you could see him shaking like you would if you were doing it with a dumbbell. So that's cool. So hopefully we'll be able to utilize this more in some of the videos as well. But where I was going with it, I did the, the lat pull downs and it was such a different workout today. I got done and usually when I would do it with the bands, I would feel it high up into my tricep area. And I mean, I would feel it in my lats too, but not as much as I did in my high triceps. When I did my lat pull downs today though, my lats were on fire, yeah. absolutely on fire. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I'm pulling more weight too because a band is a band. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You can only do so much with the band. Now the band has still got a great workout from it, but and that's your only option. Yeah, that's great. That's it. It's still a good option, but I had been complaining about it's not quite the same form when you're doing the band as it would be if you're using a, doing a pull up or even a pull down. So I was able to concentrate more on keeping my chest up and having more of a lat pull down area, um, and then also. When I noticed on this new machine that we have, the way that you sit in it is a little bit different than it would be on your regular lat pull down that you would do at a gym. So your form's a little bit different. The bar actually comes down like this a little bit more. So you can really feel it. You can engage more of your lats that way. Where if you're at a gym, sometimes they'll come like this and you'll have a tendency to arch your back and you'll pull straight down. So it hit and it'll almost hit a little bit more forward. So anyway, it was cool. 
I liked utilizing that today. To me, it gave me a better workout. Mm -hmm. I feel good leaving today's workout. Um, I feel like I got a great leg workout. Yes. Even the bent over rows, like Phil was saying, those are super challenging. Um, mm -hmm. I was My glute using, was on fire just holding that leg up. Yeah, I actually cheated. <laughs> the, did you rest your leg on I did. The second round through, I was like... I thought about propping it up on one of these. <laughs> <laughs> it went through my head too. I, I was like, humor And, and here, here's, here's, here's the thing as well. If you're more concerned about your, back. your heavy lifting, put the leg down. Uh, I remember in one of the, oh, Tony's Horton. P90X2. In Tony Horton's P90X2, he, he says, says he will hey, the he says, yeah, he says, I'm on, we're on round two of this. He said, and if you want to put your other foot down, go ahead. He said, now a lot of you stick with the balance stuff, but he puts his foot down. He says, I want, I want big arms, so I'm going to lift heavy right now. Mm -hmm. So if you want to lift heavy and that's not something that you care about, the balance issue, then you can pick up a little bit heavier weight. Well, it's not so much a balance issue. It really is a good move it's because overall, you are hitting core, a lot of your core, your obliques yeah. especially. But yeah, I was... I was tired, tired, tired that yeah. second round through, and I had just I had that same thought going. Well, I'd rather do a little bit less and lift a little bit heavier. So I went up mm -hmm. in my weight, put my leg down, and then instead of doing a the way she has you positioned, your arm is basically straight down. So when you come up, it's like this. Where when I normally do a bent over row, I'll have my arm come out here. So as I pull it up, I do it like this. Does that make sense instead of this? When you're balancing, you have to do it like this. And when you have your foot down, you're able to go at an angle and then pull up. So it hits a little bit different uh, parts of your back when you do that. So that's what I did the second one through. And I would probably, the contact's really messing up, I'm sorry. Um, I'll probably do that again next time I go through, just because like I said, it hits a little bit different uh, fiber muscles back there by doing it at a little bit different angle. And I was just tired. But, yeah, <laughs> but I round two, it. you're whooped. I yeah, I agree. It. Especially when you, when you get to round two, and she says, "All right, decline push-ups." Uh, what was your reaction? <laughs> it's like, "Oh crap, <laughs> this is gonna hurt." It's tough, but it reminds me of a lot of good beach body workouts. That you know, halfway through, you're going, "Oh my gosh, I still got halfway mm -hmm. to go." Which that's really what you want. You know, you're gonna get a good workout. Yeah. yeah. So I felt I did good. We're one week into month two now. One full week, yeah, tomorrow's, tomorrow's one week, but we're, we're almost finished with week five. We only got three weeks left. Mm. So sad. Wah, wah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow, possibly, for another workout. I'm sure. All right.